What's going on, Dragon Ball fam? It is your boy, Juan Luis, back at it again with another Dragon Ball The Breakers video. All right, guys. So today we are going to be talking about the original Funimation dub of your boy, Frieza. By the way, we got pre-mades. <laughs> Just thought I should add that in there. There's pre-mades, high levels, all that good stuff. Anyways. <laughs> We're talking about Linda Young, the OG voice of Frieza's dub. Personally, my favorite Frieza dub. This new Frieza dub isn't bad, but, you know, uh, she is, to me, always going to be nostalgic and better. Because I grew up with it. But, um, yeah, I ended up meeting her in the last convention where I met uh, Nappa. Check out the video on that one. Um, and yeah, uh, she is, she's cool as hell, man. She really was. I'm going to tell you the story of how I met her. But before that, before I get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my daily Dragon Ball content videos. Post every day, guys. So don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so um, before I even get into how I met her, um, I have to talk about John uh, Bergmeer. Now, John Bergmeer, if you guys don't know, is the voice of Tien Shinhan. I believe he's done all the Tien's, right? Yeah, for Funimation, at least, for the Funimation dubs. She's, he's done all of the English Tien Shinhan voices. From Dragon Ball the way to GT to Super and all that. Okay. He's almost never around my city. Like at all. Or Linda Young for that matter. So I wanted to meet him also. He also did the voice of Kurama from Yu Yu Hakusho. If you didn't know. Um, I didn't know what to expect meeting him. But when I got there, he had no line. He was though on the booth right next to Linda Young. But he had no line, and I'm like, okay, well, Linda Young's line is pretty long. <laughs> so let me go get his autograph first. So I go, we chat a little bit, um, and, you know, he tells me how he doesn't know anything about Yu Hakusho just yet. Um, I had him sign my Yoko Kurama pop. He signed it. Um, he gave me a rose whip. And then he goes, a tri beam, ah! <laughs> it was cool as hell, man. Awesome guy, super nice. Um, after I got the autograph and whatnot, went over to Linda Young, who was right next to him, decided to make the line for her. So I'm waiting in line, and let me, let me say this. Not all of these voice actors want to meet fans, right? They're just here to collect a check. I know this. Linda Young is not one of them, okay? A lot of these voice actors that I'm going to be talking to you about, they're not just here to collect a check. Like, they genuinely like meeting fans. So Linda Young is one of them. So as I wait about mm, 10 minutes, give or take, to go meet up with Linda Young, finally get to the front, and not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out, right? This is my childhood we're talking about. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. And um, she's like, hey, how are you guys? I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. Um, and she asked, she did something that I wasn't expecting. She asked for my name. She's like, what's your name? And I'm like, Huang. And she goes like, well, nice to meet you, Huang, this and that. And I'm like, holy crap. Like, I've never really gotten asked my name unless they want to personalize an autograph, right? Um, but no, she, um, she just wanted to know what my name was, which was really nice, really cool, very genuine, right? I will say, though, I did get a shy vibe from her. I felt like she was shy, not as, um, maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying what I believe. You know, I feel like she was a little shy, which kind of threw me back a little bit. You know, she's Frieza, <laughs> after all. <laughs> but, um, she asked um me you know do i want an autograph whatever etc so i said oh yeah i'll i'll get a autograph she said all right perfect 
Now, she did something that I wasn't expecting either. She's throwing me all sorts of curveballs, right? She tells me, here, um, here's a list. And it's completely free. And I will write in your pop or whatever it is you want signed. I'll write my autograph at the bottom that says OG Frieza. But on the top, I'll write an inscription. So she had a list in this paper of things that you could get inscripted on whatever item it is that you wanted signed. Whether, if I, from what I can remember, it was, I think it was like Death Beam, um, my power level is 530,000, that was hilarious. Um, yeah, Saiyan Monkey, something like that. Um, Death Ball. Stuff like that, you know, generic stuff. But the one I picked was, oh man, it was just so perfect. It was, I'm reading it off the pop right now. Filthy monkey, monkey see, monkey do. Ha 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 ha. Dude, come on. Come on. How cool is that? Got that on a pop. Um, I'll probably post the pictures um, later on on my YouTube so you guys could check it out. But yeah, she signed that. And then she asked, hey, did you guys meet uh, John um, John Bergmeer? I said, yeah, actually, we we literally just got back from his booth. He's right next to you. Um, she's like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah, he's the voice of TN. I'm like, yeah, I'm a, uh, I know. She, he's cool. And she goes, like, oh, you know, that's my son, right? I'm like, say what now? <laughs> she said, yeah, um, he's my son. And I'm like like your your actual son and she's like yeah 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 we're related that's my son and i'm like no way and she tells me the story of how he got the gig of tn so she tells me that she was working with funimation she was she was a uh, frieza she tells me that um his son didn't really get the gig the traditional way usually to get these uh, voice acting gigs, you go through a lot of drama school, you do Broadway, you do musicals, etc. Her son did none of that. <laughs> Her son um, was in college, and I believe it was engineering what he was um, in college for. Uh, don't quote me on that one. I don't remember what he was in college for, but um, I believe it was that because then she tells me, Funimation was looking for an engineer. And like any other mother, right? They will always pick their sons to do stuff like this. She says, hey, um, I know someone, my son. My son could do engineering. And her son was a little hesitant. He's like, oh, come on, mom. I don't want to do that. <laughs> but he ended up doing it. Um, did some engineering work. And one thing led to another. I guess they were looking for TN's voice, right? And again, she's like, hey, my son could do it, <laughs> the engineer. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man, um, mother of the year right there, right? So <laughs> she ends up um, uh, convincing her son to do some work uh, as TN and ended up paying off, ended up working well for um, him, right? And he ended up saying that, you know, oh, man, I suck at engineering. I don't even like engineering, but... He ended up loving voice acting. He ended up loving um, TN and, and, and working as TN. Then he got Yusuke. I mean, not Yusuke, sorry. Wow. He ended up getting uh, Kurama uh, from Yu Yu Hakusho and stuff like that. And yeah, doors just started opening up for him. So she told me that story. I'm like, wow, thank you so much for sharing that. That's, that's a story to tell. That's crazy. She's like, yeah, yeah, um, I'm so happy to tell you. And again, she had a line, you know, and we spent a good five minutes, ten minutes, perhaps, just talking things Dragon Ball and talking about uh, her son and how he, his story, how he got into the business and all that. So mother of the year to Linda Young for that. Um and you know then we said our goodbyes and we went off but man that was quite the story to tell right imagine that which just goes to show guys sometimes it's not about what you know but it's about who you know <laughs>
right? Um, especially when it comes to um, creative things I've noticed, whether it be music, whether it be um, actual art drawing, whether it be voice acting, or regular acting, or whether it be even YouTube, right? It's about who you know as opposed to what you know sometimes. But um, yeah, he tapped into that gift he didn't know he even had. Um, and Funimation gave him his uh, his role in TN, and yeah, now he goes to cons and stuff. <laughs> he still does TN because super still a thing, and I'm sure they probably brought him in for to do some lines here in uh, Dragon Ball the Breakers, Breakers, sorry, perhaps. And um, yeah, then Linda Young, she also did some some uh, voices for me. Her natural voice kind of sounds like a mix of Frieza and Genkai from Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, um, she also did Genkai uh, from Yu Yu Hakusho. And yeah, her natural voice sounds like that, sort of. I did hear that they replaced her. Now, this didn't come from her. This is just me, from what I've heard, that the reason why she didn't um, continue voicing uh, Frieza's voice was because uh, she just couldn't keep it long enough. So, like, uh, I guess when Dragon Ball Z Kai was going to be filmed in the movies, they needed her to talk in that voice faster. So, I guess dialogue was going to be quicker. So, she had to, like, talk faster and she just couldn't do it. And I will say that voice is really hard to like maintain. It's like a raspy, oh, you saying monkeys, you know, like that. It's, it's, it should, I'm sure it takes a toll on your voice. So um, I heard, again, rumors, this isn't, you know, from Linda Young herself. I heard that that's the reason why she got replaced because uh, she just couldn't keep, uh, say that voice quick enough. Um, and they needed her to say dialogues a lot quicker for the coming um, redubbings of Frieza. So I replaced her, but, um, you know, the person they replaced her with, may he rest in peace, I know he passed away, um, I think it was like a year or two ago. Um, he actually did really good. Um, you know, if, if, if there had to be a replacement for Linda Young, um, I think they picked the right person because he what he did was he got Frieza's voice and tried to do it as close as possible to the um, Japanese dub. And he did a really good job, I got to say. I don't even know how to begin to make that voice. That voice is ridiculously hard, especially for a male. I thought that was crazy. I don't know who they, you know, after his passing, I don't know who does Freeze's dubbing now. Um, but they're, they sound just like, um, just like how they're supposed to, right? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Linda Young, double thumbs up. You were awesome, man. <laughs> if you're watching this video, it was a pleasure meeting you. Um, but yeah, I ended up. I guess talking also about her son, right? John <laughs> Bergmeer. So I guess a two for one special in today's video. Uh, let me know who you want next, right? Let me, you guys let me know. Who do you think I should talk about next? I've met quite a few. So let me know in the comments below also if you enjoy this video and stuff. But um, yeah, I'll also leave uh, the playlist with all of the videos that I have in this series that I'm making. And yeah, if you guys want to binge through it, be my guest. <laughs> Anyways, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit the notification button. Uh, this game was actually pretty crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoy it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Be safe. Peace.